Welcome to episode one of Scribbles with Jonathan. I'm your host, Jonathan Rector. And uh, before we get started, I just wanted to talk a little bit about exactly what this is. I've done this a little bit in the past before. It was a couple of videos, semi-daily released. And uh, basically all it is is just so we get to draw together. Uh, it gives me a little opportunity to um, take a little break and draw some scribbles, draw some drawings, you know, draw the good stuff. And the best part about it is I get to bring you guys along, and hopefully what I want to do with this, this version anyway, is make it a semi-daily show, and considering it is on, it'll be on YouTube anyway, I get to do some uh, video with it, and there's some downsides and bonuses and pluses and all the good stuff that come with it and some negative stuff. Um, right now there's some technical limitations that I'm dealing with and that'll mainly be with uh, my video recording device and right now I have a web camera which I've used in my previous videos however I find that it doesn't work as well as I'd like it to. So I'm looking into some of the, the I guess higher definition cameras I suppose you could call them to record actual pencil drawing and line work and until that gets settled out We'll either have to stick with two options, which you're looking at right now, which is me still tinkering around with a screen capture device. Um, let's see if I can find the name for you guys for the program here. So if you guys ever wanted to take a look and make your own, by all means, you guys could uh, hammer this one out too. Uh, the program I'm using, uh, where is it here? Sorry about all this. Uh, basically, I'll try to find it and... Um, I'll just go back and I'll put it at the bottom of the screen that you're watching right now, the actual name of the program. So if you want, what it does is you just hot key and F, F key on your keyboard. This is for PC anyway, I'm not sure about Mac. And uh, you just record what you're drawing. And as you can see, what I'm drawing right now, it's kind of laggy and it's not an entire full screen. I do run at a higher resolution on my computer and uh, the resolution I'm running at anyway is 1680 by 1050 so it's a, it's it's uh, pretty big and when I'm rendering this file or recording as I'm drawing it gets a little like I said before laggy and you really don't want to watch that stuff so I basically just framed a picture here and hopefully it's going to convert pretty well to YouTube uh, you may have to full screen to see it. However, uh, this is the first trial run of the episode, and uh, we'll see how it goes from here. But I'm pretty excited to get it started. And uh, what I thought we would do to start it off with is I'm going to do, I suppose, a monster or a creature or something. Something fun, something loose. And what you're seeing right now, what I'm doing, is how I usually start most of my warm ups if I have no idea, absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I'll just do some scribbles like this and uh, eventually the scribbles will start turning into other things and right now I've been doing a lot of little skinny lanky people with exaggerated limbs and exaggerated features and right at this stage we're not looking for anything uh, beautiful we're not looking for anything uh, anatomically correct your foreshortening is going to be off uh, whatever you want to do just the idea is to keep the pen or pencil or in this case uh, our little uh, tablet pen moving just keep it going just keep it going keep those those uh, those um, distractions keep them popping in your head just pop 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 keep it going uh, never stop uh, you may spend a couple of seconds uh, looking over what you've been doing and just feeding off one another and that that's what you want you want to just be able to grab and take from what you're already doing and that's half of the beauty and half of the fun I mean if this is not for a client or anything like that this is just for me a lot of these things, what I'll do is, uh, if, I, if while I'm drawing, uh, I mostly do comic book work and illustrative work, but every now and then, uh, I need a little break from the art table, and I find the best way to take a break instead of going on here and surfing YouTube or uh, playing a game or anything distracting that could distract you for too long, I'll, um, I'll try to, as quickly as I possibly can, open up Photoshop so I don't have... Uh, options really to go surf and uh, waste some time I suppose online and uh, get a little bit creative and it, it's a different medium you know it's it's on a screen it's not on paper and this uh, like I said lets me mess around a bit so the way I'm thinking how we're gonna do this is like I said earlier I, I got distracted like you'll find that I usually do on these things um, since this is on YouTube I'm only allowed 10 minutes so once the introduction's done and all that fun stuff, really it's about nine minutes of playtime. So it's a, a nice little time distraction in the background that I could throw out 
every other day. I'll try to do it every day, but if it doesn't happen, mostly on weekends, it's definitely not going to get done. But during the week, I'll try to get at least three videos up. And like I said, it is 10 minutes each shot, so we can kind of work together um, and just see what's going. And the first thing I'm, I'm trying to do is, again, just a monster concept, a creature concept. And uh, I've gone right now from the lankyish versions to a more slug-like round guy. And uh, how we're going to do this is right now, we're going to do the concept stages where it's just scribbles. Scribbles, sorry, I can't even speak. And uh, from the scribbles, all we're going to do is just keep scribbling until uh, I've had enough. And basically, I'd usually go for about 10 to 20 minutes, so that'll be about two videos worth of concepts. So considering this one's 10 minutes in length, uh, the next one we'll do will be more of the same of this, just messing around, fiddling around. But by the end of the second one, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to pick one that we like, one that we want to explore a little bit further, okay? And I have no idea what that's going to be yet, but we'll try to spend a minute deciding which one we like and which we want to take a little further. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to spend another 10 minutes or 20 minutes with that exact, excuse me, that the, the concept that we chose. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do what we're doing now again. So, so I don't confuse you too much. We're going to pick one that we like. Then we're going to make multiple copies of the one we like. And what this allows us to do is some designing features and costume features. And uh, you can exaggerate and play a little bit more with some more anatomy and all the good stuff. So you'll see what I'm talking about in the future videos. But uh, to not get too far ahead, ideally this is the beginning step. And then we're going to try to take it all the way to a final piece. And for me, like I said, I don't have too much time to do a lot of this concept work. Uh, this is spare time type projects. Excuse me. And my finals usually are not 100% rendered, uh, illustrative, huge poster quality, detailed images. It's enough for me that I'm satisfied with it and I can move on. And uh, like I said, it's a fun little distraction that we get to do. So I hope you guys stick around for a couple more episodes anyway, and uh, we'll see how far this goes. And I really encourage uh, some of you guys to jump in on this too if you want. I mean, why not? If you know how to do the YouTube video recordings, uh, reply to this video if you want. Do a link on on a site, leave me some comments, anything. Uh, the more people we get doing this stuff, uh, it's fun. You know, it's like a little community uh, that I hope that we can, you know, all share together and have a good time with it. So, uh, as you can see right now, I'm just, uh, I did a quick shape, and uh, it's something I've seen on DeviantArt a couple people doing. They'll just draw a bunch of shapes, and then you draw it inside the shape, and it makes you think in a more silhouetted type of uh, mind, mindset, where the silhouette represents the, the out shape, the, how do I describe it for you? Imagine it's a black room, you're in a black room, okay, and you're in a bedroom and it's solid black and the doorway to your bedroom there's light out in the hallway so your mom or your dad opens the door but let's think a little bit cooler some awesome creature comes in with spikes and claws and all sorts of things is opening the door it's so bright when it comes through that all you can see is that black outline of them okay so it, it does something to your brain where you see the complex and uh, simple shapes of the the, the silhouette and I'm not doing it too much here. I could possibly show it in the next video. Uh, it's still something I struggle with, but it's an interesting way to do it. And it, it, it makes it a little more interesting in ways of thinking. So what you do is with that shape, you draw inside it. And that's what I was trying to get to with uh, the dog picture that I was doing there with the unicorn horn. Because it can't be a dog. It's got to be something a little bit more unique, right? <laughs> a little bit more fun. And we're drawing a little bit close to the end of the video here. And uh, right now it looks like a, a pile of poop that I'm drawing, or some sort of sluggish squid thing. And the video stops a little bit closer to here. And basically tomorrow, or Wednesday, when I f or what it be, Thursday, uh, when I jump back in, we're going to try to finish this up and go from here. Okay guys, so I hope you stick around, and uh, you guys enjoyed the video anyways. And I can't wait to make some more, and um, we'll see what happens. Alright guys, have a great day. Take care.